Okay, I thought I'd show you this before we get started today. Um, this shelf is all the Strangers in Paradise that I did. Um, the single issues, the trades, the hardcovers, um, and the omnibuses. For a long time, you could only get it in these big box set things. Now we're doing this format. This is the one you hear us talking about now. There'll be four volumes. Um, one is out, two is coming very soon. Um, it'll be a lot easier to manage. There's a bit to pick series. On the second shelf is everything I did after Strangers in Paradise so far. Um, Paradise 2, Echo, um, Rachel Rising, Motor Girl, Strangers in Paradise 25, and Five Years, and Serial, and then Parker Girls. Um, and you'll notice the format, the way I'm, I'm doing it. I do the single issues, and then single issues, then trade, then hardcover omnibuses. Single issues, trade, omnibus. Single issue, trade, omnibus. So that's where we're going with Parker Girls. Um, I finished the last issue of Parker Girls, which we talked about last week. And there is already one trade paperback of Parker Girls. And just like all these, these others, there will be two trade paperbacks and an omnibus. If you notice, since Rachel, I've been working in 10 issue um, segments. So 10 issues, two trades, an omnibus. 10 issues, two trades, omnibus. 10 to omnibus, 10 to omnibus. It just seems to work well. Um, after 10 issues, people start seriously trade waiting and the single issue uh, numbers get so low, you can't sustain the, you, you can't make a living. So it's better just to get out at 10 or um, if you're wealthy, take the year off and draw an omnibus. <laughs> Good luck with that. So anyway, there you have it. The bookshelf, that's what's on the bookshelf. I keep pointing to uh, Strangers in Paradise books up there, uh, everything in my career since then. There is a third shelf. Below it is the work that I did for other people um, and how to draw books and stuff like that. Um, as I do my uh, lessons, you can order this on the website. Um, there's a hard cover and a soft cover. Um, they're so cheap and they're full of great stuff. Those originally came out as issues as well. Um, that's an old video. That's weird. And I usually have a sketchbook each year, 2022, 2021. This year, the sketchbook was The After Dark. And... We did that in three versions that you heard us talk about. The soft cover, the retail hardcover, and then the special website only hardcover. They all have the same interior. That's basically my 2023 sketchbook. That's it, guys. I like this one because I drew um, a story that my son Trey wrote, and that means the world to me. So I love these books. <laughs> you would never think of me in Power Rangers, but... If uh, Trey loves Power Rangers, I love Power Rangers. That's how it works. <laughs> All right, so on with our show. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Studio Sunday. We're happy you joined us today. I am thrilled to say that we are finished with the filming of Terry Moore After Dark. Yes. <gasps> oh, don't act like you're... Oh, oh. please. <laughs> don't act like it just took everything out of you. Hey, I stuffed at least two of those words. Oh, jeez. The last of the rewards went out on Friday, and any little problems we've had are now out, gone. Again, thanks to everyone who supported the Kickstarter. It was a lot of fun, it was a lot of work, and it was a lot of books. Yes, a lot. <laughs> so we do have a few extras, and in the coming weeks, if, we, um, if those continue to be extras, we will... Um, give people the opportunity to purchase those separately. Um, so if you're interested, send me an email and we'll work that out. They will not be on the website. So. Okay. If, I have a question. Extras of any of the three? Because we have three different I options. I don't know. Okay. So just find out. I, I check don't on know. it. Or check on it. It's I'm not making that. any... No promises. No promises. Yet. Okay. So anyway... Speaking of finishing, Parker Girls number 10 will be in stores on September 6th. This I one? think it's September 6th, yes. 
Um, the final issue. Yes. Yay! The second trade paperback deadline will be in stores at the end of the month, and the omnibus will be out in October. Whew. It it has just been a grind with this one. We will be offering a limited edition version of the Parker Girls Omnibus, which will be limited to 500. It will be signed book plate and numbered. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll begin taking pre-orders for those in the next few weeks. Okay. I do keep getting that question asked. When pre-orders? So Yeah. We do have Strangers in Paradise Volume 2 on its way. If you, uh, if you would like a hardcover of that book, you can pre-order it on the website right now. Oh, you can only get the hardcover through Abstract Studio. So if you're going to collect that version, now's the time to pre-order. Yes. Um, hey, we've got a couple of conventions coming up. This coming weekend, we'll be at RobCon. Yes. In Bristol, Tennessee. It's Saturday and Sunday, so come by and check it out. We'll be spending time with our one of our favorite couples, the amazing artist Charles Vess, mm -hmm. and his incredible wife, Karen Schaefer. Yeah. So we're looking forward to that. Oh, yeah. Then at the end of September is Terry Moore Live. Yep. It's one month away. Be sure to join Terry September 29th through October 1st for live chats on social media, original art, sketches, and books on sale. Oh, and Studio Sunday will be live that Sunday. Live, live, live. Live, live, live. So you... You don't want to miss that. And the fabulous Robin will be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly don't want to miss that. No. We will be uh, at Bedrock City Con here in Houston on October 7th and 8th. And our... Who will be there? You will be. Oh, wow. You. And uh, Mike will be helping us in the booth or the table or whatever they give us there. So come out and say hi to Mike and us. Yeah. This is the inaugural year for this convention and we hope it's a huge success. Yes. We need a good show in Houston. Yeah, we do. And Bedrock is the, are the people to do it. They are. They are. And then we'll finish the year at New York Comic Con the second weekend in October. I think it's the 12th through the 15th. Okay. Uh, come see us. We'll be in Artist Alley where the real convention is. Uh-huh. That's true. <laughs> the upstairs is like a shopping mall. Yeah. It's the Galleria upstairs yeah. and then the artist section is where you go. Although there are some big publishers upstairs. So, like, I think Dark Horse is up there and Image and... Oh, okay. So, well, I love Dark Horse books and Image is really good. So. So, okay, you can go upstairs. Okay. And, <laughs> um, so that'll end our crazy year this year. Yeah, it's busy. We're finishing with a bang. Are we? Yeah, well, let's hope that's it's a not lot. too big a bang. <laughs> no more bangs? Okay, let's get back to Bedrock City for a second. Our sweet friend and wonderful artist, Fabio Moon, will be signing at Bedrock on Tuesday. Uh, August 29th. It's August 29th. At Bedrock City on Westheimer. So if you're in Houston or nearby and you would like to meet Fabio, he will be at Bedrock City. That's a great opportunity because Fabio is coming from Brazil, so he doesn't get up very often. Take, take advantage of this opportunity to go meet a fantastic cartoonist. Yeah, he's great and a super nice guy. A really nice man. Okay, Terry's busy sketching and working on the Kickstarter commissions, so that's keeping him out of trouble for now. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been talking a bit about what comes after that, and he's saying vacation? <laughs> yes, of course. I love that. Yeah. So no news yet. We're no. just going to slide into the end of the year and finish out what's been happening this year. Yeah. I'm thinking about taking, you know, half of an afternoon off. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. uh, I did want to mention one other thing that Barnes & Noble is offering Strangers in Paradise Volume 1 soft cover in a promotion they're running right now. Uh, they have a list of books that you can buy one, get one half off, and it is in there. It's in the uh, buy, one half, buy one, get one half off. You buy one book and you can pick between all the other, these other books to get for half off. So, if you're interested in that, that's a great, uh, great bargain. Yeah. So, check that out. I believe it's in stores and online. So, thank you, Barnes & Noble. Thank you, Barnes & Noble. Yes. That's it for me. A long list of stuff today. Mm. All very convoluted. <laughs> you have a lot going on. <laughs> Speaking of vacations, I need one. Yeah, I can tell. Uh, do you have anything to add, Mr. Moore? I'm just drawing. All I do is draw. 
So I've been drawing the... What did you do yesterday? I drew. No, if you draw for five seconds, that doesn't mean you drew all day. No, I drew. I w I've been working on the, a particular drawing that was hard How for me. How did that go? Just lovely. Thank <laughs> you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> Twice I came into the studio and you were laying on the floor watching racing. Well, that's true. I did. And it's so ironic. I had just gotten down on the floor when Robin walked in. Both times. I don't uh, believe a word of it. The second time I actually tripped and fell and I was just stuck there. So <laughs> I fall in and I can't get up because NASCAR's on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's your problem. Okay. Okay. Let's get on the hot seat. All right. I've got a couple of quick, um, quick answer questions. Not long I don't need a long, drawn-out Just yes or no. Okay. If you weren't an artist, what would you be doing? Writing. That was quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had an answer for that one. Okay. Would you consider collaborating with another creator on a project? You've never done that. Not in a long time. Um, I guess you've collaborated with writers. Right. And you've done the art, but I'm, you haven't really ever collaborated on a project with anyone. No, I haven't. The last, maybe the only art collaboration I've ever done was with Bill Sienkiewicz. That's the only time that uh, that artist, my art, that artist, ever uh, was in a comic. Yeah. But everything else was, somebody wrote a story and I drew it. So. Okay. And this, will you ever come to Australia? Yes, I have to be invited. We, it's interesting, we were just talking about this. And I know there's a show in Australia, um, but yeah, we have to be invited to come. I only go where I'm invited. Um, um, so, that way I if know you I want have. Terry to come to Australia, contact that, those people and maybe they'll send you an invite. Mm -hmm. And we'd love to, we'd love to meet some um, Australian fans. It's good to be invited first so that you have diplomatic immunity. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> That's all I have, so I'm off to back our friends who are doing a Kickstarter called Good Omens. Oh. It's a little graphic novel that is making Kickstarter history. Yes. Be sure to check it out. There are only five days left. They are killing it. Yes. They're at 2.5 million as we record this yeah. on Sunday. Yes. And we're Robin and I are just... Secretly so hoping they get to three. Well, yeah. we're, we're very proud of them. Their success is comics success. And we're, we're so excited. We really hope that they can. And they're great people. Yeah, they're great people. And it's a wonderful story. And this is just so exciting for everyone to watch. Um, yeah. And Colleen is a woman who is drawing it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, Colleen is, you know, one of the icons of the industry. So, sure. I mean, and she and Neil have quite a working history. Colleen was there for Sandman. So, um, yeah, I mean, you're really taking two, two or three legends, those two and Terry Pratchett, you're taking legendary creators and making a book. Um, so it's fun, so it's been so fun to watch. Yes. So check that out, Good Omens on Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. Also, a quick shout out to our good, good friend, Jeff Smith. We're sending our love and good wishes for a speedy recovery your way. We hope you feel better soon. Yes, Jeff. Okay, what are you drawing today? Um, I have a drawing that, uh, well, the one I was working on yesterday. So I am going to take a fresh approach to it, and you're going to watch me cry and bleed on the paper. Yeah, and he's taking a fresh, fresh approach because he just erased the whole bottom half of it. <laughs> yeah, I thought I had it yesterday. Didn't work. You walk in today fresh with fresh eyes and you go, oh my God, my eyes, my eyes. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna try this again with a fresh approach, and uh, um, not everything it just comes out comes out easily. Sometimes you struggle with the drawing, and the big question is why. And I don't understand why you just don't move on. Move on to an easier thing, or just move on to a different thing. It doesn't have to be easier; it's different. You spend a whole day working on a drawing that's not gonna work out. I learned so much in my in my failure because. If I've never, like for instance, I've shown my first sketchbook that I did when I was eight or nine and I was trying to draw knees on superheroes that were standing straight at you and I couldn't draw the knees and I got so frustrated about it. I'm still that, part, that artist trying to figure out how to draw the elbow right and if you can get it, then you've added that to your toolkit. Yeah. So I, you just have to have kind of a determination 
you don't want to uh, detour every time you hit a problem as in art. Um, you want to work on the problem because if you get it, yay. Yay? Yay. <laughs> okay. So let's go try to yay. <laughs> All right, meet me here. Bad luck wouldn't let me have my way. 